what was it like being on a set like that? Because you've got the likes of Henry Cavill, huge from Superman, mm -hmm. of course, he was in the Tudors for years, worked mm -hmm. in Ireland as well. I mean, that, that sort of elevated your career quite a lot, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. So a really funny story, I actually booked The Witcher and the Magic Flute on the exact same day. Oh, the bad first day ever, yeah, it was fucking amazing. Um, so, and, and by the way, and a big part in The Witcher as well. Yeah, I, I play this legendary elven sorceress. Um, I'm visited in some sort of a dream, and uh, that was a surreal moment. I think walking onto set in the whole costume, because the most amazing thing about acting is you can kind of transform into a different person. So I got these amazing ears and this amazing wig. And we were driven outside of London to this forest that had been like completely scorched. And it was surreal. And they handed me this baby. <laughs> it's like a crying right, baby, yeah. this five week old baby. It's like, what do that I was do the funniest with this? thing. I was thinking, what's she going to be doing? She went on she was actually the baby setter. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and then they eventually put her in the thing. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah she's actually fine, so we could have her in. But yeah. it, was, it was surreal. And I, I think I grew a lot as an actor from that one experience, holding that baby. I was like, just do it. <laughs> just look like you know what you're Never doing. Never babies or animals. Yeah. We had deer and parrots and everything on set yeah. yesterday. So we're happy to be there. Um, so mm. what, are you, uh, what are you looking at now? What's, what's in the pipeline for you? Looking at now, so uh, things are, you know, you have to be quite secretive of things you sign what are you allowed to tell us i can't really tell you a lot what okay. have you done I'm already doing. I, I i just finished filming a series for netflix um called the effort bucket it's um, called a rude neighbor we're not it's a rude we can't say it for a minute there i thought we were gonna have to jump I know, in I was like, an apology yeah <laughs> thanks <Dave. laughs> no worries but by the same producers that produced the crown so left bank um productions they're kind of branching out into more young adult um screen kind of series so it all uh, takes place in London and it follows this young girl called Mia who has just come out of an eating disorder clinic and it's her kind of introduction back okay. into society and her wow. friends and how everyone reacts to it so mm -hmm. yeah we were filming that up until October. I don't know about you but I'm jealous of you because in that is one of my bucket list people that I want to meet Stephen, Stephen Fry. Fry. I am so jealous. <laughs> what was it like working with that legend? He, I, I didn't have any scenes with him, but... Did you see him? I did. You touch him? I touched him. I, I smelt him. I was in the same room as him. Wow. He, him. Uh, <laughs> he, he was just exactly as you think he'd be. He was just so warm and welcoming and of really beautiful energy and so intelligent and, and really generous with his time. Mm. So to have someone like that, I think, because we were all very young actors on that job. So to have someone there who well, was... Well, so like, I, I, I have a 19-year-old in, mm. in our house and he's he's big into series like Sex Education. So this this is aimed at that demographic. That oh, audience. totally, yeah. I think it's a recipe for success in a way. I think if you have stories that will reach young people that people can relate to, Especially. And talking about issues that are very important yeah, to them yeah. as well. Yeah, a lot of like mental health stuff. I mean, definitely, is, I'm still you know a young adult, so we all go through this every day. It's not something that stops after you leave school. Mm. So sharing these stories and, and showing people that you're not alone, you can get through these yeah. things, is definitely... Do, do you find important. because of your experiences you can lend a, a bit more authenticity to the part? Yeah, I think that you could kind of, you know what this person is feeling as an actor. You're, you're, you're kind of stepping back into your, your own past and reliving things. And I think that to be able to reach audiences and to be able to share people's stories, um, not even my own, but another character's story yeah. in, a, in a series, um, I hope would make people, you know, not feel so alienated or alone in what they're going do, through. Do you ever get a bit scared or a bit like overwhelmed? Because it, it is quite, I mean, I mean I, I've mean, i known you for a while and known you, until you've known her for a while as well, but <laughs> it's kind of been a, a kind of a meteoric rise over the last few months with, with all the series you've been involved in. And this is only the start. I mean, we see you now, but you're going to go on to great things are you are you I do, do you get a bit daunted or afraid ever it's it's a weird thing with this industry because it's a lot goes on behind the scenes for a lot of months so the magic flute I filmed like a year and a half ago and then all these things you're kind of filming them or, or attached to them for a, a long time before they come to any sort of fruition so I think you're nearly mentally preparing yourself for releases of things well, I, I, definitely when something comes out let's say on Netflix or in cinemas it's quite daunting and scary, but I think you just have to yeah. remove yourself from it in a way and just live your normal life.